Good morning. It is a mural day, but it is different than many of my other murals in that I'm taking a Gandhi up to paint. I have painted a mural here before in this building just coming up. It's near the base. You can take a Gandhi to the Helen too. Uh, but this one's gonna be a little bit higher, so you actually have to be able to ski in order to get there. I brought all of my supplies in a backpack. Now there's this new hut sitting at the base of Sublet Ski Lift, and we'll be painting inside there. It's a very simple painting that I'm doing today, and it just features some bears. I'll be doing it all freehand because a protector isn't really gonna fit in this space and doesn't really make sense since I'm trying to get this done in one day. I have until the ski resort closes at, I think, 3.30 or 4 to finish. It is 11 a.m. right now, almost 11. I'm supposed to meet Honey up there at 11, and we'll get started from there. One thing that's very difficult for projects on Valley is to determine how long it's going to take you to get there. I'm supposed to meet my client at 11 a.m. I think it's like 11.05, so I feel like I'm doing pretty well because I'm like five minutes away. But it's definitely hard to drive to a place, go up a Gandhi, ski down, go up another lift, ski down, which is my route. I know a doodle grid sounds kind of crazy. The first time I heard about a doodle grid, I was like, there's absolutely no way something like this would work. But then I gave it a try and it was so much easier than I expected. So if you're trying to get started in murals, honestly, give this a try if you don't have anything else to work with, like a projector or something, because it's really not that hard. The whole idea is that you sketch a doodle on the wall and this doodle can be anything. I used the alphabet because I thought it was really simple and I didn't really have to think that much. And then the second step is to take a photo of the doodle. You're going to take that photo and put it into your app that you're using. I'm using Procreate on my iPad. I have already drawn my design on there. So I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to lay it under my drawing and then I'm going to see where my drawing hits the doodle and then I'll sketch accordingly. So when I'm sketching, I'm looking at where the doodle is hitting different parts of my sketch and I can get the perspective just right. It does take a little while to do this correctly because you're kind of freehanding as you go, but you come out with a piece that looks just like your sketch and it works so surprisingly well. Like I said, give it a try and see how it works for you. But I love it because you can use it pretty much anywhere. You don't need any extra things to bring along with you. You just basically need an iPad. And once that's finished, I had drawn the doodle in some charcoal. So I just rubbed the charcoal off and then I had my pencil sketch left on there so that I could get straight to painting. And I used interior house paint so it just stays on just like wall paint does and you don't have to do a top coat over top. The mural is coming along. There's been so many people in here today, so I couldn't really talk. It was crazy. There were so many boxes here. Now it is almost ready to open, actually. There's already some little things sitting out here. So I am giving all the black a second coat. A second coat makes such a difference. Like here's one coat, and then we have two coats right here. And honestly, three, I might have to go over some spots three times because it just looks so much cleaner when you give it that extra little effort. Bears are all up here. We've got some bears doing wintry stuff because this place is called Bear Flats. And what they're gonna be selling here is called a bear dog. It's like a hot dog, but they're calling it a bear dog. It's not bear, it's beef or pork. I don't know, <laughs> what do you make hot dogs out of? But they're local and it's a really cool brand um, called Bovine and Swine. And so they'll have those here. And then, yeah, right behind me is the sublet lift. The mural is finished just in time because Sublet just closed and I had to get off the mountain. I think it's like a nice little pop of art that this place needed, so I'm happy with it. 
sketch and real thing. Ski patrol is coming up, so we have to get out of here and ski down. Not the usual way that I go down for my projects, but it's really calm and nice out. Finish just in time. It's starting to get dark. My goggles are definitely not for this type of light. We're like way over here across the whole mountain because a lot of it's not open yet because it's early season and everyone's gone. I thought it could be fun to do a little Christmas stroll around town, starting with this little logo that I painted. It's a nice sunny day, but I have a lot of Christmas shopping to do, so I'm gonna try to get some of it done. I love the Christmas season so much. I can't even explain it. But it's so fun to go in all the stores, hear all the Christmas music playing, and all the good vibes. I'm obsessed. I did decent. I feel like I had a good combo of buying stuff and also getting a lot of ideas for purchases that I might look up similar things online. So I'm really happy with how my little shopping excursion went. Hi guys, I'm bringing you along on another mural project this week. This one's in town at a lady's house. She wanted to have somewhat of a mural painted on her living room slash kitchen. I'm not exactly sure how hard this is gonna be. I'm gonna freehand the whole thing. It's a very simple pattern from some uh, dishware that she has. It's like a Nordic design and it's cute. It's just the detailing could be difficult basically all one color blue. I mixed up the blue last night because it was a little bit of blue and purple together. Tested it out on paper and the color is not going to be completely opaque. It's helpful because the paints that I'm using are actually semi-transparent. I need it to look like it's hand painted, like the plates look. So that's going to require me to kind of use some water in it to make it look more like a wash in some areas. The lines are very clean and crisp. So I think even though it looks like it's really simple, it's going to be uh, challenging. I've got my whole mock-up done and I sent it over to her and she was really psyched on it. So I think it's going to be great. It is a beautiful day out right now. I don't know if you'll be able to see the mountains, but the Tetons over there are looking crispy. And I'm actually kind of glad I'm painting because my friend asked if I wanted to go skiing and it is really freezing out. 14 degrees. I'm not one to get up and go on these really chilly mornings. Winter in Jackson in December and early January is very cold. It hasn't been snowing here right now, so it's really icy out at the mountain and the cold weather just makes it. Ah! So we'll be inside today and I'm very anxious to know how long this is gonna take me because it could go really quickly or be really tedious.
the mural is finished and the furniture is not back in place yet but it looks really cool kind of like this over extra large wallpaper almost look and i love it i think it brings so much fun to this space especially like those scandinavian vibes that are already here and it just expands on them it's pretty cool plus beautiful outside today so gorgeous <laughs> We have finished painting and I went to the library to get some new cookbooks, which is like my favorite thing ever. Okay, hold on, I have to put them in my car. I love going to bookstores. I went to the bookstore downtown the other day. I stopped and got four cookbooks. I really, really wanted a Scandinavian cookbook, but... Oh my gosh, I just saw my friend. She was like walking past waving at me while I was vlogging and there's nothing more self-conscious than talking to a camera <laughs> while your friend is looking at you. But I told her what books to get from the library. So yeah, anyway, I got four cookbooks. I really wanted a Scandinavian one because the place I was painting was cooking Swedish rolls yesterday and it smelled like a delicious bakery the whole time. So I decided I'm gonna become Scandinavian and bake more rolls at home. The library didn't have any Scandinavian cookbooks, which is kind of weird. So I got one called Art Slash Work, which seems to just talk all about different parts of having an art business. As an artist, like there's just some things that you don't know. Like I don't even really know how to get in the gallery. I guess I could just go ask a gallery, but little things like that, like running an art business, you just kind of learn as you go. And I was thinking maybe reading this book would be a better move for me. But I'm about home now and I've got about three hours and I'm meeting up with a friend and we're gonna go downtown. There's like apparently this holiday walk. Usually I'm up on all the events, I don't know, but she told me about this one. So I guess all the shops are opening up kind of for their Christmas kickoff and having food and drinks. So we'll hopefully have a little fun time around the town. So I think I'm gonna stop the vlog here and thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you.